According to BuzzFeed's own editor, there are some serious reasons to doubt the allegations in the report. The executive editor of the New York Times also dismissed the report by saying it was, quote, totally unsubstantiated, echoing the concerns that many other reporters expressed on the internet. The fact that BuzzFeed and CNN made the decision to run with this unsubstantiated claim is a sad and pathetic attempt to get clicks. The so it is my honor to introduce to all of you my friend and the president-elect of the United States of America, Donald Trump. Thank you very much. It's very familiar territory news conferences because we used to give them on a almost daily basis. I think we probably maybe won the nomination because of news conferences. And uh, it's good to be with you. Uh, we stopped giving them because we were getting quite a bit of inaccurate news. But I do have to say that, uh, and I must say that I want to thank a lot of the news organizations here today because they looked at that nonsense that was released by maybe the intelligence agencies. Who knows? But maybe the intelligence agencies, which would be a tremendous blot on their record if they in fact did that. A tremendous blot. Because a thing like that should have never been written, it should never have been had, and it should certainly never have been released. But I want to thank a lot of the news organizations for some of whom have not treated me very well over the years, uh, a couple in particular, and they came out so strongly against that fake news and the fact that it was written about by primarily one group and one television station. So I just want to uh, compliment many of the people in the room. I have great respect for the news and great respect for freedom of the press and all of that. But I will tell you, there were some news organizations, uh, with all that was just said, that were so professional, so incredibly professional, that I've just gone up a notch as to what I think of you. OK? All right. Just, the tweet that you had this morning about are we living in Nazi Germany, what were you driving at there? What are you trying to tell the I think it was uh, disgraceful, disgraceful that the intelligence agencies allowed any information that turned out to be so false and fake out. I think it's a disgrace. And I say that, and I say that. And that's something that Nazi Germany would have done and did do. I think it's a disgrace. That information that was false and fake and never happened, got released to the public. As far as BuzzFeed, which is a failing pile of garbage, writing it, I think they're going to suffer the consequences. They already are. And as far as CNN going out of their way to build it up, and by the way, we just found out I was coming down, Michael Cohn, I was being, Michael Cohn is a very talented lawyer, he's a good lawyer in my firm. It was just reported that it wasn't this Michael Cohn they were talking about. So all night long, it's Michael Cohn. I said, I want to see your passport. He brings his passport to my office. I say, hey, wait a minute. He didn't leave the country. He wasn't out of the country. They had Michael Cohn of the Trump Organization was in Prague. It turned out to be a different Michael Cohn. It's a disgrace what took place. It's a disgrace. And I think they ought to apologize to start with. Michael Cohn. And since you're attacking us, can you give us a question? Go since ahead. you're no, Mr. President elect. Go ahead. Mr. President elect, since you are attacking no, our news not organization, you. Not can you. you give us a chance? Your organization you are is attacking terrible. our news organization. Your organization can you give us a chance Let's to go. ask a question, sir? Go ahead. Sir, can Quiet. you state can, Quiet. Mr. President elect? Go ahead. Can you state categorically a question? Don't Mr. Be President elect, can you give us a question? Don't be you're rude. attacking us. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Can you give us a question? Can I'm you, not going to give you a can question. You can you stay categorically? You are fake news. Sir, go ahead. can you stay categorically that nobody... No, Mr. President-elect, that's not go appropriate. Ahead. When Mr. Trump went after our own Jim Acosta, uh, saying he's fake news and he isn't going to call for him, what I suspect we are seeing here is an attempt to discredit legitimate, responsible attempts to report on this incoming administration with irresponsible journalism that hurts us all, and the media going forward should keep that in mind. So that's one. Just to get that out of the You're way. You're referring specifically to BuzzFeed. I'm ref yeah, it's irresponsible to put uncorroborated information on the internet. 
I can understand why presidents like Trump would be upset about that. I would be upset about it, too. It's why we did not publish it and why we did not detail any specifics from it, because it was uncorroborated. And uh, that's not what we do. We are in the business of sussing out what is true and what is, and what is false.